Well folks, welcome back. Today we have a new tool. This here is the KTI W01 Kawits Thermal Imaging Camera. It's been sent in from Kawits for a little test out and a review. Now, we've been sent thermal imaging cameras in to test out before in the past. And as you can see from this box, this one is a little more industrial. So let's not actually waste any time. Let's just get this out of the box, have a little look at it. First up, it's obviously the manual. The unit itself, and a nice wee carry case with the handle, which is nice to see. Decent box it comes in as well, nicely packaged. And you also have charging cable and a charger also. That's the boring stuff. Now the carry case it actually comes in is actually a rigid case. It's not just a foam bag. And there is the unit itself. Now, as you can see, this is not the first time this has been unboxed. I've already had this out before and I have been using it. I've been using this in the workshop for the last month. When I get an actual tool in to test out, I do actually like to properly test it out so I actually know what I'm talking about. But this time it was actually Kawits that asked me to test this out for a month first before doing the video review. They wanted an actual honest review on this and wanted me to use it for a little while first. So if you actually follow my channel, you've probably seen me using this here in other videos because I was actually testing it out fully before doing the review for it. Is there any doubt? There you are. Roasting hot inside. So that's gone. That's a handier tool there than the actual wee phone ones. Sixty degrees. Look at that, straight away. Look how hot that bearing is. It's already up at 78 degrees. Right, bearings it is. That's crazy there. That's turning free. It doesn't sound bad. And it's not hot to the touch. But that is white hot down here on the actual rim. Of the bearing that I can't get my finger down onto. Just goes to show how handy a thermal imaging camera can come on. Right, change this bearing. We might have to change this one too, so we'll just change all the bearings. Now, as thermal imaging cameras actually go, this isn't the first one I've been sent done, and you actually get these in loads of different sizes now, from this sort of range all the way down to tiny little ones like these here. These ones we've looked at in the past. These are actually designed to attach onto your phone, a small attachment that turns your phone into a thermal imaging camera. They're nice, small, compact units and very, very useful, but they are small and they're very easily lost. Not the best for a site or a workshop environment. They very easily get damaged, broken or lost. This Kawits unit is actually an all-in-one thermal imaging camera, so it has a screen on the back for viewing what you're actually looking at. There's no need for a phone. She has a pistol design, so you can hold this easily in one hand, walk around the workshop or the site wherever you're using it on, work one-handed, so you have another hand free. 
And like I say, because it's a pastel grip design, all the controls are very easy to reach up here. We can just get rid of that there now. The resolution on this is 256 by 192, so same as these here. The frame rate, 25 hertz. Also the same as these here too. A little bit slow for a camera, but for a thermal imaging camera, it's more than enough. It's also a rechargeable unit, so it has a 3.5 milliamp battery inside, which gives you about 6 to 8 hours run time with this here. So more than enough to do a full day's work with it. I've actually got this over a month ago and I haven't recharged it yet. Uh, that's all the battery I've actually used up on it. So battery actually does last a good long time, even though it has its own screen built into it. So the actual range in this goes from about minus 20 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius. So a big range on it. And the accuracy, you're looking at plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. So more than enough for actual a work environment. Now the controls here, very easy to use. The trigger on the front is for actually capturing pictures. So when we click, it takes a picture. You either save, enter, or you cancel out of it. It has a 32 gig memory, internal memory, built into this. So you can store plenty of images and videos on this. And transfer it to your computer. Via a micro USB slot there. Which is also used for charging as well. It's actually quite a good wee unit to be quite honest. It's practical, easy to use and you're just not as worried about it as the likes of these here. It's a little bit more rugged and it can withstand a little bit more so you're not as worried about it. But the main thing is the built-in screen. That there is the way to go. The other ones are handy for storing away. They're still good resolution and everything. They're handy they can put onto your phone but when actually using it in the field doing maintenance, diagnostics or problem solving this is just a lot quicker to actually pick up and go. Handier unit that way. So what do I actually think of it? Would I recommend it? Definitely. Like any thermal imaging camera, they're an extremely useful tool. This, even more so, simply because in a bigger case, has controls and a screen. And, even with all that, actually works at a better price than the likes of these. The resolution, the actual temperature range, tolerances, all that there. All the same as the smaller cameras, the more expensive ones. You're just getting it on a bigger body and more practical to use. Now, I always get the comment from somebody saying these thermal imaging cameras are just too expensive for them. Honestly, go back a few years, you'll see what expensive is. Go back a bit longer and it would actually scare you how much a thermal imaging camera would have cost. €280 Euro buys you this one. That's cheaper than even those wee small compact ones. A few years ago, a thermal imaging camera was going to be costing you about a thousand euro. Now you can buy it for 280, quarter of the price. Going back longer than that there, you're onto only big companies could buy something like this here, or a specialist company. One thing I would say, what I don't like about this, lens cover is very handy, but it's probably not the strongest. I can't see it lasting all that long if it gets a bang. The case, just the plastic case at the front here, it's a nice red colour so it's easy to spot, but... It's not the most expensive plastic ever. The back but here has got a rubber coating that's a little bit better. Better actual tactile feel to it. This, not so much. But, for the job it's going to be doing, it's not going to make any difference to it. The other thing I didn't actually like about it when I first started using it was the actual trigger at the front. I kept taking it out, switching it on, and pulling the trigger and taking a bloody picture instead of just looking at the screen. When you first take it out of the box and switch it on, you sort of just assume you're pushing the trigger, or pulling the trigger to actually use the camera, but you're not. The camera's just running all the time once you switch it on. You're just using the trigger to take an image. But after using it for a few weeks, you eventually get used to the trigger there. But apart from that, nothing wrong with it, to be quite honest. After a month of using it, it is actually a decent wee unit. If you're looking for a thermal imaging camera, I would definitely recommend them. If you want something a little bit more industrial to be used every day, that there's the sort of thing you want to be buying. You want one with the screen. If you're looking for one, I'll put a description in the comments down below, so you can actually go to the Kuwait site and check it out. But definitely, if you're looking for a thermal imaging camera, check out that unit. Good unit, good quality, good resolution, and comes with a good case. Actually keep it all nice and safe.